Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're gonna talk about something hilarious, something really funny that is happening on Instagram right now. As we speak, the comments are being uploaded. So it is basically an online argument between Anton Wayant and Ian Valier and Blessing of Wadibu, but it's mainly Ian versus Blessing. And there is so many comments, this probably went too far, but I highlighted a couple of very interesting ones before they delete all of this. So I'm gonna show you a couple of them. So as you can see right here, this is basically how it all started by Anton posting this photo comparing himself to Ian in this photo Anton kind of does look better he does look bigger he has the angle and people in the comments Anton's fans were all like you should have beaten Ian you should have won that show so what Ian did he posted a couple of other photos himself with the caption, hey, Antoine too can play that game and with five picks, not one. And in these photos, Ian has the angle, he looks better, so he kind of got back to Antoine. And at this point, it all seemed pretty innocent, it didn't look serious, but then the argument actually started. Ian wrote a comment saying, oh, you want a fourth whooping, I see, meaning that uh, Ian beat him three times and he's probably gonna beat him again four times at the Mr. Olympia. Somebody commented uh, saying, what sucks is we all gotta listen to this WWE stuff for four more months. And Ian's comment was, he's insufferable, but that's how mediocre bodybuilders stay relevant, by being the loudest guy in the room. Look, these pictures look good for Anton, but at the end of the day, I come seventh at Olympia, second at the Arnold, I haven't lost a regular pro show in three years. And these guys all end up last call out. Because pictures isn't reality, it's fantasy world where you're a better bodybuilder than you really are. Come December, we all end up back in our places. And that's me fighting for top six and these guys battling it out in the fourth call out. We are not the same. Somebody replied to Ian by saying that this is not really a dig at Ian. And Ian says, oh, it is a little, but it's all in good fun. I like Anton, unlike Booger Monster, <laughs> meaning Blessing of Oribu, the boogeyman. Alright, then we get to Blessing's comments. So Blessing also made a comment on Anton's post saying, this is not even close, you smoke this dude. Zero bag details, just size. That's why he thinks bodybuilding is all about size now. And even when it, when it comes to size, you made him look like a child. And where's the damn calves on this guy? Somebody replied to Blessing by saying something like Ian is 7 at the Mr. Olympia and, and this was a funny joke from Blessing, probably the only funny joke that he made. You guys probably know that Ian tattooed all of his shows that he won on his fingers. 5 wins, 5 fingers and, and Blessing's comment is he should have 7 tattooed on his forehead. Ian replied something and then Blessing's reply was uh, back in the early 2000s, your physique wouldn't even make top top 50. There's a difference between you and I. You're just meathead, I'm a piece of art. If you were casted in Stranger Things, they'd named you Seven. <laughs> well, and then Ian replies, uh, piece of art, maybe a Picasso, with your wide, chunky obliques and spider legs. One guy who makes me feel great about my calves. You're living in a dreamland trying to stay relevant and everyone sees through it. You can sell this BS to uninformed fans, but no bodybuilder worth his salt think anything of you. I'm tried and tested at every level. You are a silly new kid who wants to be allowed to be relevant. We are not the same and never will be. So if it helps you sleep at night to say yourself you're something you're not, go for it. But no one with, with a brain is buying into your delusional BS. Yes. Blessing replies by saying, lol, I've been knocked dead by everyone, the boogeyman never shy, blah blah. Blessing keeps writing about himself in third person, and so Ian replies, referring to yourself in the third person with your schizophrenic alter ego boogeyman. Maybe I was right with the mental joke. Yeesh. Your IQ and bodybuilding ability are on par at least, below average. So it went pretty far, but as you can see, Ian definitely has way more likes on his comments, a lot more. Blessing basically has no likes whatsoever, maybe two, one, two, three, and Ian has 50 to like 200 likes. So obviously people are supporting Ian way more than Blessing. As you can see, this all happened in past hour or so, and they're still writing the comments. There is so many comments, it's crazy. These guys went back and forth. It, it is insane how many comments they left. So here Blessing says, bro, be honest. And he refers to him as bro. So Blessing is not really hating Ian that much, but Ian is ruthless. So Blessing says, bro, be honest. You know damn well that there's a chance I beat you. 
at the Mr. Olympia. You should go to church and pray to God for some courage. Lol, the boogeyman is coming for you and you got no place to hide. And Ian replies, no, there is literally no chance and I don't even take that seriously. It's like a little kid thinking they can beat their dad in something. <laughs> Ian is a savage. This was enough for blessing. So he says, okay, dad, I'll see you soon. But Ian is not gonna stop. He replies again. He says, no, you won't. You'll be in the fourth call out with your sloppy, goofy physique. You'll be watching my glutes from the side, just like you did Nyx last year. So Ian is not gonna end this, not that quick. And as you can see, Ian has 105 likes, while Blasting has 2 likes. And this whole thing actually started yesterday. I mean, these guys had their back and forth even last year, but they officially started <laughs> going at it again yesterday when Buys and Tries page posted uh, this this uh, quote of Blessing talking about how the aesthetic era is starting, how Curry is gonna beat Rami, how uh, his physique, Blessing's physique is... Uh, what they're looking for now and Ian left his comment he said nope size is king now you want to be smaller and pretty they got classic for you to which blessing of course replied he said Ian Valera I feel so sorry for you bro cuz you too damn soft and I know you can't handle a loss especially from a clown after this year's Olympia you're gonna cry in the car oh you really got lucky at Vancouver cuz my guy Antoine had you in a lot of poses and Ian <laughs> Sorry guys, Ian's response was, get your gangly looking spider physique out of here, you're not even in a conversation to real bodybuilders. As you guys can see, Ian can be pretty ruthless, I mean, he didn't hold back, he really went at Blessing, and he was serious about it, I mean, this is Ian, this is him, I know a lot of people don't like him, but at least you know who he is, he's real, he's honest, on his social media, on YouTube, on Instagram, wherever, unlike Blessing, who is always in some kind of a role, the only time he was real was on Fuad Abiyad's podcast, but Ian, again, you can like him or hate him, but at least you know who he is. And he is pretty sensitive. As you can see, he spent hours arguing with random people, with blessing. He wrote so many lengthy comments on Instagram. And I don't think he's doing this, you know, just for the clout, just for the drama, just to be relevant or anything like that. No, he's just honest. The reason why Blessing is getting into these dramas, I think, is because of publicity, but not Ian. He's just being himself. He's just saying whatever is on his mind, and that's the way he is. He has no filter. He just says whatever he thinks. So, this is him right now, by the way. So, guys, whatever your thoughts are on this whole situation, tell me in the comment section down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And for more bodybuilding videos, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best, and bye-bye.